So now we have uh, the same thing. Okay, let us consider the one positive uh, any charge. We we'll mention this particular charge as what here? Q. The Q is a charge. Then uh, there is a one test charge, it is there at somewhere at infinity. Somewhere it is there at infinity. So the test charge is present This is a unique positive charge, let us say. Where is this particular charge? It is at what term? Somewhere like infinity. Now, this charge is the P here. Let us consider this one as what here? P. That's just some kind of work is done. The work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to what here? This point in an electric what here? Field. Now, let us consider. This particular point is nothing but a what here? The P. We mention this one as P. The distance from the Q to the P is considered as what here? We mention it as what here? X. This is considered as X. Now, once again, this side is in, inside the electric field here. Once again, this point is the uh, comes to the one here, point E. Let us say here is an E. Now the distance between these two things is considered as one here. We can able to mention it as what R. Okay. So this is from here to here it is mentioned it as what here? You already know that I want to find out a what here potential that's nothing but a what the V. I want to identify the expression for what the V. So, in this diagram, shows that a Q is a charge, a point charge, and let P be the point where a unit positive charge is considered. Let the distance between the Q and also what is that? A P is considered as what here? X. And the distance between the Q to A is considered as what here? Now you already know that. What is the force between these two charges? Okay, between what and what? Q and also what is this? Here is the P. Let us mention what is the force here. The force is always given like this. F is equal to, you already know the Coulomb's law, is it not? F is equal to 1 over, what is that? 4 pi epsilon naught. Q1, Q2, Q1 and Q2. This is considered as what here? Positive 1. Let us say 1 Coulomb of charge is present over here. So let us say like this, Q... This one is the Q here, and I will mention this one as 1 between these two things. What is the distance here? X squared. <coughs> okay, therefore, F is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Q, this one is here, Q1, Q2. We will, instead of Q2, we can able to write the 1 cool here. So, therefore, X is the distance between these two things. I will write it as what here? X squared. Now you already know that, okay, how much of a work done? The work done is always given by, okay, the work done, the work done. Bringing this unit positive charge from infinity to that point is always considered as what here, the dW is equal to F into, the force into what here? Displacement, I can able to say. What is the displacement for that? It is nothing but about here dx. Okay. Or I can able to say like this, I can able to write in another word the dw is equal to f into the dx cos theta u. 
What about the theta here? The theta is nothing but about here the 180 degree. Okay, it is in the opposite direction. So whenever it is in the opposite direction, I can able to consider it as minus 180 degrees. Is it not? So therefore, uh, a theta is becomes somewhat here 180 degrees. So cos 180 degrees is nothing but what here? Minus 1. So therefore, I can substitute for this one. What will get theta it is equal to the other Yes, this will become cos 180 degrees. Cos 180 is nothing but cos 180 is equal to minus of what is that? 1. So therefore, I substitute here. So what will get? Work done is equal to f into dx into what is that? Minus 1. So overall, I can able to write like this. W is equal to minus of f into. Can you write like this? So the work done, I am bringing the unit positive charge from infinity to that point is uh, dw is equal to minus of f into what is that? dx. We know f already here it is there. Okay. Substitute uh, f to here. So what you will get? Okay. Let us call this as uh, I can even say the equation number one. Substitute this equation number to here. So what you will get? Okay. So substitute the equation one to the above equation. This equation. So therefore, what happens? Dw is equal to what happens here? Minus of what is the f here? Here it is. So therefore, I can even say 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught into what is this? Q into 1 is let us say Q only. So therefore, Q divided by what is this? X squared into this. Don't forget about this. This is called as a modulant dx. This is the work done in bringing the unit positive charge from what here? To from infinity to that point. Now, where to where I am bringing this particular charge? From infinity to where I want to bring it? From to the what here? Oh. So, what you mean, what you have to do is just integrate this. You know, integrate how to do this. So, therefore, integrate this entire equation. Integrate. Integrate okay between what and what here? Here's the loyalty infinity to the what? Where I have to bring to the a is equal to r. Therefore, integrate infinity to what here? R. So, therefore, integral of dw is equal to let us say this entire thing. Okay, take a minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by what is that x square n into dx. Therefore, <coughs> from where to where we have to integrate. So, therefore, this is infinity to the what here? Now, how to integrate this thing? Okay. I'll take the same equation here. What is the integral of beta? Okay, is W so let us say W that is equal to so I will take out this thing, entire thing. Therefore, what you will get minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q is remains as it is. So Q. So here we have x square is also here. So therefore Q divided by what is that? X square. So integral of this dx is always uh, we can able to write it as what here yeah, x. So this and this will get cancelled. So what you will get w is equal to minus okay one over four pi epsilon naught and what you will get is q divided by x. So from where to where from infinity to what here. Yeah, So now therefore, so how to do this? So therefore, 
W is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. So take out this Q also here. So I will write it as Q here. Then what do you get? X. So how to do this one? Pi minus 1. Okay. Infinity towards that. Or I can use. Okay. Now x to the power of minus 1. So how you write? Minus minus is becomes a plus, so therefore w is equal to q divided 4 pi epsilon naught. This will become so what here? 1 by x therefore infinity to what here? Then it is a very simple thing. W is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 over or minus upper limit minus of what is that lower limit minus then what we get is that w z equal q divided by 4 pi epsilon into what you get 1 over then w is nothing but okay work done in bringing the unit positive charge from infinity to that point, it is termed as a what here? I can even say this is potential that is V. So therefore, I can even say V. Therefore, we will get V is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon into what I can even say Q divided by what is that? So this is how we can even to find a potential due to the what here? Point charge. So this is uh, V is the potential. Q is nothing but a charge. R is nothing but a volume. The distance between these two things. So this is what we talk as a what here. The potential due to a what here? Point charge. So what we have learned today is first one is the potential. And what is the unit for the potential? And also the one the complete derivation termed as a what here? Potential due to a point charge. Okay. If you this is what uh, we had learned. So if you like my videos, okay, please subscribe at TGM Physics. Thank you for watching.